بالنصر الطاعة بالنصر عشا نومك مجي دي الداقي كجني واني مجي دي النيار الطاعة نجوة غاقا نوم أما في الصاعة وطقين غير أخلاق جين وطلوني إنو مغاني دخاز غوية غوية ميك إنو مغاسي سوكشن نغي بوما كوري نقاقسن ناشا إنو مغاقو موطا إما يطق تاعتي نتاكين أكو تاعتي بويس بروكي Dan ingat lah ada orang pemain recreating bla 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 make up eh, the touch imagine yang muk ui ui mini mer ui ada itu macam make up tutorial tu, the nuri yang pinas lah, the dah mari ni ada, the ada yang apa pun merah yang apa, Jacqueline Hill lip pinas sama itu macam ni ada, mer ni ngup itu itu apa window, linki ada ni dia macam apa. I slept in the yard. Alright, I'm just going to start off by priming my eyes. I'm just using a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I will just go over it with a translucent powder. That's the way I personally prime my eyes. Concealer? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer? Tarte Shape with some powder is because the eyeshadow will go on and apply and blend out so smooth if you have a powder on first as opposed to going over it just with like a tacky concealer or like tacky primer the eyeshadow just won't blend properly and it just adds a lot more work for you so I always recommend setting your eye primer with a powder because I just feel like it makes the world of a difference I'm going to be going in with the colored rain queen of hearts eyeshadow palette today I believe oh! <laughs> why god why Mr. Good. You get back in that hole. I'm gonna start off by going in with these two shades right here, which is Air and Royal Prerogative. Both of these shades are a matte, and I'm going to just put them right here in the lower area of the crease. I'm mixing them together, like I'm dipping my brush in Air and then in Royal Prerogative, and then tapping off the excess, and then going right into this crease area. And I'm using a long haired natural brush. And as you can see, I'm doing it mainly just on the outer corner. And then once I basically have nothing left on my brush, I'll bring it to the inner corner. But the one thing that you want to avoid is staying away from this region up here. Like I don't want to get too close to the inner part of my brow because then it will give me more of like a masculine like kind of look. You can see like I'm just putting that product right there, basically in the crease, but I don't want to go above the crease in the inner corner. I only want to go above the crease on the outer corner. Then once I have basically nothing left on my brush, I'm going to just softly bring that up towards the brow area. I am going to be using... Not really an awesome name at all. Using ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Abiza. I'm just taking this on a small little fluffy brush. Any brush would honestly do anything just to get that color on the inner corner. I'm just going to put this on that entire inner corner area. We want the majority of this color right there in that inner corner, like in that tear duct area, and then we want it to fade out from there. All right, so now that we have that turquoise blue in the inner corner, I'm going to pick...
the Queen of Hearts palette again and I'm going to grab Queen Mother which is this really beautiful shimmery purple shade right here and I don't normally put shimmery purples in the outer corner of my eye but today we're we're just trying new things y'all we're trying new things I'm gonna just pack this on I am using the exact same brush as I did for the inner corner I just wiped it off on a paper towel so that there was like no loose blue eyeshadow left on it but I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna just pack this on right out on the outer corner it's my first time ever using this eyeshadow brush and I really like it. So now I'm going to grab... your majesty which is this beautiful shimmery gold right here in the center of the palette i'm going to use the exact same brush again i'm just going to pack this on in the center and then blend it i'm just going to slightly put it over that blue slightly put it over the purple just to blend all of that together because we don't want it to be too choppy we don't want it to be like blue gold purple like we want it to have you know kind of like an ombre motion to it so now i'm going to go back in with a little The phone cool you the phone cool being the side to look. Nah me. Nah me. Nope. The phone cool you power being the side is I'm gonna cut up. Oh go and this only comes to it uh kind of goes on up to shine um thanks in the software music easy to talk that thing to me it's not on top of it yeah don't talk to sounding yeah yeah <laughs> a little bit more of that matte orange shade on a fluffier brush. I'm going to just take it right over the corners of that purple just to give it more of a pop. So now just because I don't love the way the... ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Ah, ouais, c'est vrai. Quand on peut les écouter, on a un peu de temps à nous, c'est mon nom, et on a un peu de temps à nous. Je suis un peu de temps à nous. Je oui, tu as un peu de temps. 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 Tu as un je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme. Je ne sais our corner is looking. I'm going to grab some MAC Deep Damson eyeshadow on a fluffy brush. I'm just going to pack that over the outer corner of the eye. It's kind of low down here because I just wanted to have a little bit more depth. Alright, I'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe and just. Come on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Clean up some of this fallout because it is looking really grungy under there. So now that I cleaned everything. Up with a makeup remover literally all I did is just wipe it away then I take my nail or if you don't have long nails you can just use a q-tip and just take it and just go sh like right along the side of it and it will give you like that nice cut eye look as opposed to just being like really messy like it was before I'm taking a totally clean brush and I'm just going to lightly go over this area just to make sure that everything is of course blended to filth with no harsh lines I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of this matte gorgeous magenta called ladyship i honestly don't even know what i'm gonna do with it i'm just gonna pick a little bit of it up on this brush and just see what happens because it's so pretty i'm just gonna kind of like put it in this area i don't know i just love it oh yes i love that extra little pop oh my gosh it's so pretty all right so now
<laughs> so now all the colors that we've applied or all the blending that we've done that gold in the center of my lid has definitely faded and i want that to pop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab some fix plus i'm going to dip a brush back into that gold shade and i'm going to spritz my brush with the fix plus and then I'm going to just take this, I'm starting off low on the bottom, and I'm just very lightly going to tap this in the center, very lightly. If you go in there and start like shh everywhere, you're going to make a mess that you really can't clean up. So we're just going to start off really lightly as the brush is wet, just kind of damp around. And then you might want to wait a couple seconds until the brush is a little bit more on the dry side, and then that you can go and kind of blend it out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put some mascara on my lashes and I'm going to pop on some false ones. You guys do not have to do false lashes for this look. You can totally just curl your lashes and do some mascara. Let me know mascara. I'm not gonna... I've got to be extra. But once you get used to using mascara, like, like, yeah, so like, it's awful. Mm. I'm going to prime my face. I'm using this Sisley primer that I keep going back and forth on because it is so expensive and I really don't want to love it from the bottom of my heart. But I do feel like it is a good primer. But I've been going back and forth between several primers recently because there's a lot of them that I purchased the past couple of months. And this is just one of them. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Dior Skin for... So dainty. Product to be in this excellent towel so you can wear it on your face. Yeah. Yes. It's so nice. Skin Forever Foundation. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'm sure I'll be raving about this in my favorites video very soon. I'll go way more in depth, but let me just say, wow. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow. I'm using the Morphe M439 brush to just buff that in all over my face. And something that I have noticed recently because back in the day when I first started doing YouTube, I always, 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 under no exceptions, <laughs> always did my eyeshadow first and then my foundation. And then I kind of got more into the foundation first routine. And recently I've been going back and forth. And something that I have noticed is when I do my eyes first, my foundation looks so much better throughout the day. And what I think it is, is that when I do my foundation first, like no matter how much I use powder or how much I bake, I will of course have fallout when I'm applying my eyeshadow. And then maybe I'll be like touching my skin as I'm like doing my eyes. And it's just like this area all right here, like my under eye area especially, just doesn't look as good throughout the day. When I do my eyeshadow first and then my foundation, my foundation just looks its absolute best, which is something that I've noticed recently. So I've been trying to do my eyes first, unless it's just like a super, super easy natural eye look, just because, well, I want that flawless finish. Let's get real. All right, I'm using some of the... That's not an eye Tarte Shape Tape on my under eye area, and then I'll also put it on other areas of the face. I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. God, I love this concealer so much! When you do your eyeshadow first and then you do your concealer, you just have to be really, really careful when it gets to that eyeshadow line. Like, I created that line earlier, so now I just have to make sure that I use a pointed beauty blender and I just get right up next to it, but you just don't want to, like, pounce over top of it, otherwise you will ruin the eyeshadow that you created. Okay, now for... Tell it how I didn't buy it. Oh, how 
powder. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It looks like this. And as I apply it, I pick up a tiny bit at a time and I just lightly stamp, as you can see, in little pouncing motions. I'm going to take the exact same powder, but in a shade. lighter. I was using shade two for my face and this is shade one. And I'm just going to put that right underneath my eye because I do like my under eye area to be just a little bit lighter than the rest of my face. Not a ton, but definitely a little bit. All right, let's do the All right, let's do these brows. I should need to see if I think the other thing. I think I should be tough. ไม่ต้องเกิดโลกร้อนต้องฟังเออพูดต่อยู่แต่ว่ามันนึกคำว่าจะน่ามีน่ามีวันหนึ่งมีกันนะตัวโอ้ไม่ค่ะเฮ้
All right, I'm gonna bronze my face really quick. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Topaz Duo. I have just been so in love with this bronzer recently. I'm gonna grab this holographic palette by Kat Von D. First of all, this packaging is so dope. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but it's so cool. And then all these colors just look like they're really light pastels, but then when they're swashed, they have the most beautiful, oh my God, my nails look so disgusting. That's embarrassing. Seriously, I need to get it together. <laughs> it's been two and a half weeks. But I'm gonna grab that blue sapphire shade. I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner to really make that like inner turquoise pop. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure I'm i I'm going to grab some of the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the shade Black is Black on just a little tiny precise brush and I'm going to line my upper waterline which looks really creepy. I know the first time I ever saw someone do this I was like what are you doing? But it just makes a really really big difference especially in person. I don't feel like the camera picks it up but in person it just makes your false eyelashes look so much more natural and clearly we're going for like a super natural makeup look today. I'm gonna throw some mascara onto my lower lash line real quick. All right, I actually just wanna put some of that black liner on my lower lash line as well. Now that I'm looking, I just wanna give it more of a pop. So I'm gonna just take that exact same technique using a little tiny liner brush and just go ahead and glide that on. All right, so for blush, I'm gonna be trying the Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade X Rated. It looks like this. Okay, and then for highlight, I want to try this highlighter shade because it just looks so beautiful right here. It's by ColourPop, and what is this? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's their new collection, though, because there's a couple of them, but this one has, like, the bronzier shade in it, and I want to try this highlight. I will find it and link it down below for you guys. It just looks promising with the swatch that I did earlier, so I just want to know. I don't want to be too highlighted today. I don't want to be, like, blinding. I want it to be a little bit more subtle. Ooh, oh my god. Wow. Okay, ColourPop. Oh my gosh. I feel like ColourPop has stepped up their game recently. Like, at first, I was not too sure. But recently, I have been so impressed with their products. I'm going to do a tiny bit of that on my nose. Just a little boop, boop, boop. Okay, I can't help myself. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Champagne Pop because I just feel like Champagne Pop makes everything better and I love the peachy undertone that this has in it and so it's gonna mix really well with my eye color. So anytime I do like a golden eye or a bronzy eye or like a peachy coral on my eye, I always wanna go in with Champagne Pop just because I feel like it is so complimentary to those eye shades. Yeah, it just warms it up just a little bit. Oh, so beautiful! I can't help it. Every single time I apply Champagne Pop, I'm still like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just proud mama. You like how I start off by saying, I just really don't want a blinding highlight today. And now I'm like, sorry. I go in with the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. All right, I'm going to set my face really quick with some setting spray. The setting spray that I'm going to be using is not yet available. I'm so sorry, but a brand sent it to me and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to be using that for today, but I'm sure it'll be out soon. <laughs> I have to 
just do one more thing. I want to add glitter to the center of my lid. <laughs> I've literally been done filming for like 15 minutes and I was about to get something to eat and I was like, wait a second, I have to come back and do this really quick. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy. And all I'm going to do is just lightly sweep this right across the center of my lid. I don't need to do too much, just a little bit, but I just felt like it needed like a little pop. Like, I don't know. I can't help it. Like, I just always want to add glitter to everything. Okay. That's better. I feel so good. 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 I feel so Yeah. Oh, man. Damn, I don't know. 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 I don't know.